Hello everyone, it's Muffin from Muffin Games and today I'm doing my first episode of June Valley Sims. So I was in the middle of doing her face but the footage keeps not recording. So this is where we're gonna start off. Um so I'm gonna stop talking now so you can see me kind of moulding and manipulating her face. So I'll see you later. Bye guys. Okay everyone, I'm back again. It was been like a while now, but it's probably gonna be like a second for you. So this is my sim, Alison Baker. Her traits are friend of the world, which gives her the Gre Gregarious, Treacherous, I don't know after that, trait. The good trait, the outgoing trait, and the active trait. So this is her everyday wear. This is her formal wear. This is her athletic wear, sleep wear, party wear, and swimwear. So, we are just going to choose a pose. That one's first. And get moved in. I'm going to get. We're going to live in Newcrest. Oh, I made a massive bath from that one. Oops. Let's just wait for that to pass. That oh, that was a lot that I made myself. I made that one. But that one was made out of loads of different downloaded rooms. I didn't make that one. I made that one. And I made that one, and I made that part. This one seems the most kind of the one with the most carb appeal, I would say. So we're just gonna evict them. That's what the house looked like. And if you want to, if you want to see some of the houses that I've got in the gallery, just um, go in the gallery and connect. Then on the little drop down, not that, that that's an accident. The little drop down, click um, original ID and put in blooded by fab. Because I haven't, because that was my old one and I don't want to change it because then I would have to buy this again. And uh, I don't want it. So this is what we got. Everyone. Here we are at the empty lot. It's 3.24 a.m. on a Tuesday, apparently. So we're just gonna make it day. And build. So I'm gonna build this in fast mode. So I will see you when I'm done. Bye guys. Love you all. trademark I'm, I'm trying out like at the beginning of every video I could be like muffins back yum yum 
I know you can't see my face or my fingers because I'm just doing a click. Like, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Anyway, that's that could be a really loud sound that's really annoying you. Or it could be a really quiet sound. You don't know what I'm talking about. It's like a loon. But you know, when do I not seem like a loon? So this is a voiceover, if you haven't noticed by now. Because how would I be clicking if I'm doing this in? I got my hands. Anyway, um, this is my first ever voiceover, even though I've tried this at least 3,000 times before for this video. But um, there's a lot of kind of problems. Like when I try and do a voiceover on iMovie, it kind of does work for a few minutes, then crashes and uh, closes. So I'm just having to do this on my screen recorder and then put it in in the background of my video. So um, this is me just doing the hallway. As you can see, I did that rose out of pool lights, which I thought it was really nice. And then um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, this is the kitchen slash dining room slash living room. So yeah, my son was cooking there, so I was just putting that away. Um, so this is just the kitchen, it's kind of, the theme of the house was supposed to be black and gold, but I felt that the two colours kind of together, like the walls were black and the walls were gold, which you can't get gold walls, it would be pretty overpowering, so I changed it to black, white and gold, and you can see the walls, you know. So I put a massive knife and spoon there, using the kind of size up sheet. Which, in case you don't know, it's shift and the kind of square brackets. Either be square brackets or the brackets are kind of look like a moustache on the side. Um, so, yeah, I was just fiddling around with that. And this is the kind of living room portion where I definitely sized up that TV. And to get that TV, you need to be in the startup branch of the Tech Guru career. Or you can use the cheat that I used, which is get your pen and paper. <laughs> bb dot um what was that bb dot ignore gameplay unlock send entitlement which is spelt bb dot i g n o r e g a m e p l a y u n l o c k s e n t i t l e m e n t I didn't even read that. So that's um, BB dot ignore. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember it. BB dot ignore play gameplay unlock sent entitlement. Or you can just Google it. It will be there in the Sims 4 forums. It's really handy. I love that. I I usually don't search it in search inquiries kind of in the forums. I just Google search it and then usually it would come up with a kind of forum, the forum. But it doesn't always have the answers on the forum. It'll just like, yeah, I have the same problems too. High five. But yeah. So this was when I felt that the, going back to the gameplay, this is when I felt that the garden was pretty empty. So I'm just trying to fill in some empty space there. Because nobody wants a bad garden. Anyway, so um, I'm going to tell you a story about my phone. So... It was like the other day, my friend had dropped a, dropped like her money, and it went under the car. So um, she reversed it so I could pick it up for her, and then um, I tried to pick it up, and then I did. But I had a load of stuff in my hand, so I was trying to balance everything, and I had my phone in my hand, and I dropped it on the pavement, and it like smashed. It was really, really scary back to the gameplay I keep going off track so I just put in a barbecue there and um, I, that was me just experimenting with the outdoor treat moose which I think is really cute because it's got like that really adorable little heart nose but I size him up a lot like a lot a lot as in I bet his foot was in the living room so what I'm going to do in this bit is I'm going to do a camp one of the campfire pieces well, what am I doing oh I was just this is me showing the house um so that's what it looks like um I didn't name it Tranquil Crescent that was the lot name that I didn't change 
so that will be available for download not just yet but very soon um if you just go into the community section oh there's our sim Alison baker if you just go into the community six the community section and click the drop down and then you should click origin id and then search um blinded by fab and then they'll have a load of stuff that i've uploaded and the sims and the houses and everything um it's it isn't called muffin games because um it's like i had made that origin account before i had kind of before i had made this channel so if you make if you want to kind of get another one you would have to buy the sims again all the packs and um anything else you've got and i just i don't want to do that so we're just going to stick with blinded by fab though i think there could be a way to change your name which i'll have to experiment with and by that i mean google with so that's the bathroom which is will be up for kind of in the gallery for um so you can download it and i'll probably put the other ones up too so that i don't know what i'm doing there what am i doing oh then upstairs uh there's a little hallway and this is the guest bedroom and i did those roses but i sized them up because i thought it looked pretty cool and i like the kind of red theme it was really nice then this is allison's room it was all quite um pink and girly and cute and fluffy and a little a little child side because they got most of the well not most of that but some of the stuff from their children's category like i'm doing now i'm searching a giraffe a rainbow giraffe and later on in like a little while you'll be seeing a unicorn but i just think that fits allison which i don't know if i've already said this but if you don't know is the sim we'll be playing with for this series which is dream valley sims which i just thought was a cute name and um yeah so that's me just adding in the unicorn evidently called the uni unicorn university um so yeah that's it bye everyone